What's up, gang? So we back out here. Um, you already know what time it is. I don't even remember the way that I ended the last clip or what the last clip is. I just know what we were doing in this video. And we were figuring out how to wire tuck the corners of the engine bay, right? I look crazy right now. I did pull the headlights and headlight harness out. For most cars, the harness is routed through like these tubs, uh, clipped in like a bunch of different places. My harness has been in and out of this car so many times already that mine was literally just held in by zip ties and I had to remove the zip ties. So mine would be a little bit different than all of your guys back at home anyway. But I did leave everything else. Um, all I did was tuck some of my wiring back into my firewall and then uh, I'm going to try and get everything else on video for you guys. As you can see, I run my battery cable to here um, I tucked everything back into the little OEM engine harness location the engine harness is still on the engine I pulled it out all connected I did run the wiring back into that hole so that it would be out of the way and then this is just held in with two little screws there today I'm gonna be routing my fuel lines back into the car because they run through the car trying to basically get rid of everything in the engine bay the brake booster I'm gonna leave in there but I'm basically going to get rid of everything else, try and figure out how to tuck this stuff into the car, just run all the wires inside as much as possible. I might even utilize my rain tray and like try and tuck wires into there and like run them through there. So I'm going to be pulling that off. The only thing that I don't know if I'm going to be doing in today's video is the proportioning valve. So for those of you that don't know, that little spider looking guy with all the brake lines connected to it can, uh, controls the proportioning values of each section of your brakes so it controls like the you know even distribution of brake fluid to each corner of your car and it's not so much that i'm going to delete it when i say this but i do want to move it uh, i'm trying to figure out how to relocate this they make relocation kits for the car they are worth it they are a little bit of money so i can't i haven't decided whether or not i'm going to do a kit or if i'm going to make my own using the oem proportioning valve but i do know i need to get it out of the way so that when i do start to shave this bay I can grind all of like the little posts and holes and stuff and all that stuff back there. So I'm just going to set the camera up. I'm going to start taking some stuff apart that I can and figure out what to do with the wiring. All right, there we go. All right, so after like a lot of thought, I definitely want this bay to look as good as possible, but I'm not going to delete features like my heat. I'm not going to delete features like my, my wipers. I'm trying to consider my options for this harness in the corner of the car here. So this is what I'm working with. The wiring to this harness is all attached to this wiper motor and it runs into the firewall over here. When the motor is in, most of this stuff hides. I took a break after that last clip. This is kind of a jump, I know. Um, but, wow, hold on, one sec. These heaters, these heaters seriously do their job well. It's uh, super hot in here, so I had to take the sweatshirt off. Anyway, I figured out what I was gonna do. I went to the drawing board last night, watched a couple of YouTube videos. I was trying to see how people like commonly tuck these cars. And a lot of people do like the whole splicing through like this hole here, um, bring it through the inside, through this hole, and then through the fender well. And I was scared to do it through the fender well at first, but then I realized how high that I can make it sit. Um, I'm just gonna have to drill like two holes to like put a zip tie through to hold the harness up because I do not want my wheel hitting it. I'd rather drill holes, two tiny holes for a zip tie than have the harness get chewed by the wheel. So it's really ugly in here. I'm gonna obviously patch everything up. But I have my fuse box and wires already ran inside the car. That was from the last time before I ever made a video on how I did this. Um, I ran them through the, the firewall like on the inside and then put the fuse box inside. I gotta figure out where I wanna mount it still, but there's the power wire for my battery and the power wire for my starter and stuff in here. And before I had them running through the OEM wiring harness hole in the dashboard, but I mean through the firewall, um, but I wanna keep them inside and create a new hole to hide the wiring. And I actually figured out that you can run the harness for the chassis without cutting anything through the door harness like hole. There's no way I'm going to be able to show you guys how I did this, but basically I de-loomed this wire so that I had more room, and then I just pulled it up through the inside of the car. It used to come out through a hole over here where the fuse box normally would sit, 
but it's run inside through over here. And basically I'm just gonna tuck the chassis wiring harness under the fender, all the way on the outside around. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side over there. It's not really anything that I can show you guys on camera because there are such tight spaces and it's just me. Maybe if I had someone with me, it'd be a little bit easier. But basically, I haven't started this side yet, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do. Um, this side's probably gonna be a little bit harder. I have to figure it out. I just figured out that side, which is why I wanted to do that first. Basically, all this wiring, all this wiring here is going to go inside the car. Um, and I'll show you guys where it goes. And then I'm going to pick out the two wires for the chassis right here and get them through the firewall, the door harness firewall, and then do the same thing on this side. But first off camera, I'm just gonna de-loom all these, take these out of here so that I have a little bit more wire to work with. All right, so I just ripped all of the electrical tape, well, most of the electrical tape at least, and the wiring harness apart like the loom pieces like these pieces and now i'm just going to pull them through the firewall so they're all inside and then i'm going to feed these two for the chassis harness and this one which is really long for the wiper motor back out so you can see right there by my purple and silver sprayed rubber grommet that that's the harness we're attached to the firewall i'm just going to pull this in and then feed well i'll figure out how to feed the other wires out afterward and just so you guys know if you are doing this at home there's um gonna be this bracket which is really kind of annoying to get to um sitting right here that holds this box for your cruise control my cruise control is deleted so i'm just gonna get rid of that i had to double check that it was a cruise control box before i unplugged it um that gives me just a little bit more access back here to pull this through, so. All of the wiring is now dropped through the chassis here. Um, and the only thing that we're gonna start to try and feed back through is wire right here. And that gray and blue wire in the back there. And we're gonna feed them through. I don't even think I can show you guys where I'm about to put this. Ugh. I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Me, see me. All right, so what I ended up doing was I fed a speaker wire through the hole on the outside and let it find its way inside so I can attach these harnesses that I want to run back through the hole to the speaker wire so that I can just pull it through the hole really easily. So I'm going to do that for the three plugs and then I will get back to you guys when they are through the hole. Although proving increasingly difficult, they're through. Them Johns are through. The hole. I can't really do much more as in like putting the whole chassis harness back in until this bay is repainted. I just needed to get these wires through the side there so that they would be ready to go for when things start to go back together. But until then, everything is just gonna end up sitting here like this because I can't connect everything else back together. But now, this hole can get covered and there will be no wires over here anymore. Obviously I have like my boost line and like my fuel line and stuff still running through here, which that stuff's gonna stay because that stuff is like down. Um, that wire hanging over the side there and this clutch line here, like that stuff all goes down behind the subframe and like behind the engine. It's just up over there for now so that it's not hanging around in the engine bay. Like I said, there's two wires that plug into this that I have the wires hidden under this cap right now. Um, to show the if the brake fluid's low on your dash, I'm not really gonna pay attention to that. It's okay. I'll just make sure that this is good. And once that's good, I won't worry about it. This is probably gonna stay. This normally sits here. I'm just gonna get a new one of these. Um, so it looks nice. And everything else, like I said, gets tucked down below. So basically that concludes the wire tuck portion because I can't really continue on the the full harness because everything else is going to sit the same i don't need to extend any wires this way which i like um everything else is going to sit the same i just really can't do much more until this bay gets redone in the next video i'm going to be um deleting this proportioning valve and doing a brake tuck um from mpc they make a little nice little kit that keeps everything in the engine bay 
that deletes this whole mess. This was kind of a short video, um, just because like I'm stuck now, like I have to wait for other things to do, like happen before I can really do much more or wait for parts to come in. And I do hope that um, it was a little bit of an educational video for you guys, because I know most of the brake tuck, I mean, brake tuck, wire tuck videos include like cutting the harness or like deep pinning the harness. This one is very easy. Like you just run it through here. Um, I'm going to just cut like a little slit in this put the harness in, put it back, and then put a loom on here. Do it for both sides. I'm just gonna do that off camera on my own time. I just wanted to show you guys so maybe to maybe give you guys a little bit of knowledge uh, from what I found on YouTube um, that you guys might not find. This wire is just gonna go, I'm gonna run this inside, inside the wheel well here, up to the wiper motor. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do some more cool stuff to tuck and shave the engine bay. And hopefully soon I'll be able to get all these holes welded up and then uh, the paint. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see next. Later.